So guys, for the first step, you wanna head over into the Windows recovery environment. I'm gonna show you two ways how to get there. If you cannot log into Windows like I can, don't worry, I'm gonna show you in the second way how to get there without having to log into Windows. So if you can log into Windows, you wanna click on the Windows start icon and then click on the power button, hold shift on your keyboard and then click on restart. Now as the computer is restarting, keep on holding on shift, which will then take you into here. If you could not log into Windows, that's fine. You just wanna turn off your computer from the power button. So turn off your computer, then turn it back on. And once you see the Windows loading screen, you wanna turn off your computer again and turn it back on again. You wanna repeat this three times. Once you repeat this three times, it will then take you into here. Now once you're on this, you're gonna click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Command Prompt. Now once you're on this, you wanna sign in. Now once you've signed in, we have some commands that we need to type in. So the first command is gonna be C colon, click on enter. And now you wanna type in CD space, backslash, windows, backslash, system32, backslash, config, and click on enter. Now we're gonna type in MD space, backup, click on enter again. Now we're gonna type in copy space, star dot star, space, backup, click on enter. Now we're gonna type in CD space, regback, click on enter. Now we're gonna type in copy space, star dot star, dot dot and click on enter again now we're going to type in a and click on enter the reason why it says that it's not working for me is because i have not got this problem but in your case you're going to have this problem so this is how you fix it now once you do all that you just want to close that command prompt and now you can go back to windows and then that's how you fix it 